All right, let's do number five here. Again, they don't have the solution here, so I might have to calculate this myself. So this is a long question, so let me read this out first. So I have the decomposition of nitroamide, O2, NNH2, in water has the following chemical equation and rate law. So let me write this down. O2, NNH2, uh, decom decomposes to form N2O plus, oh, this is a gas, so I'm going to write the state as well, plus H2OL. Uh, and then the rate. I'm just making sure I'm balancing this correctly. It is balanced. So I have two N's here, which is good. H2, then one L. Okay, we're good. And the rate here, oh, sorry. So the rate, and the rate as R is equal to, again, O2 N and H2 divided by um, divided by h here i i don't know if it's cut off or something but because there's no hydrogen gap uh no h here maybe they meant h2o um i'm not sure what they're writing uh this by but i guess i'll just write that write that down first So it says a proposed mechanism for this reaction is, oh, so they're actually going to break this out into mechanisms. Okay, that's, that's fine then. So we have K1, um, oh, sorry. We have K1, so we have O, again, O2, N, N, H2 plus H. So this guy is a fast reaction. And then we have uh, K2, which is O2 and NH yields N2O plus OH. And this step is slow. And then finally we have K3, which is H plus OH, which gets H2O, which is a fast reaction. So it says, what is the relationship between the observed value of k and the rate constants for the individual steps of the mechanism here so again um if we look at every break the break this out again this entire equation breaks down to one two and three chemical equations here and they actually give us a speed to this so for example k1 here is fast the rate of this reaction is fast k2 is slow and k3 is fast and we care about the rate determining step which is this slow step here so k2 is what we're actually interested in And we're assuming that K1, K3 go very, very fast. So, uh, the, th which means the rate is actually only determined by the slow step here, which is K2. So when we're asking, if it's asking what is the relationship between the observed K, which is, uh, I guess, this K here that I forgot to write, um, and K2, K here would simply be equal to K2 because we assume that K1 and K3 are very fast. So K2 here is the, uh, the slow guy. So that's what we care about when we talk about our rate of our overall reaction here. So K2 is going to be our answer for this problem. So again, this step is, uh, it says here the rate law is dependent on the slow step, which is correct. So this is a slow step. Hence the rate of reaction will be governed by the slow step and the fast equilibrium reaction. So again, we only care about this K2 here. So hence the correct answer is shown above. Uh, was there a K negative one as well? I'm trying to look at. K negative one. I guess it was this guy here. Um, K one here doesn't show me a speed of, for this one here, so I'm not sure about the speed. But again, because they 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 wrote that slow the slow step here is K two, right? So. Uh, we're good in saying that the K2 is the uh, is related to this K here in terms of the rate rate of the overall reaction. So I'm going to say solution is incomplete, but provides correct logic in this specific question. 
uh, K2 is the rate determinant. Step. So it will also be the be the rate of the whole form reaction. We assume that K1 and K3 are fast steps, and the rate is determined by the slow step. So the solution here is correct, but they failed to write down K2 here, but the logic here is correct.